What's up guys, it's Taraborn back on the Unity server for episode 4. Last week we did the Iron Man challenge and that was a lot of fun, even if I did die a couple of times. This week I want to get down to the shops and I want to start looking at some farms to go in my basement. So, let's get straight to it and start flying over to our shops. Jumping out of the tower at Castle Taraborn, we can uh, glide down into the Starterville proper and... We can arrive just here at the low price nice ice shop. It's not the biggest shop on the server. There's a bigger ice shop over in the shopping district, but I sell the basics and it seems to do pretty well, particularly when I have somewhat undercut prices on some items compared to the larger one. So we've got blue ice, one diamond for 32. And oh, that's nice, a couple of diamonds from that. A powdered snow bucket. I do get the occasional sales on this one. It is also cheaper than the powdered snow buckets in the shopping district, only by a little bit. But it does sell quite slowly, and I am glad because I do need quite a lot of it. I've got snow blocks, and oh, sold one of them. And I've also got packed ice. Oh, that is very nice. Quite a few diamonds from that. So if we put them away, this is actually quite good because I've been collecting a lot of ice recently. I've got quite a few shulkers worth of it. And uh, I'm pretty happy that I've got enough to restock quite comfortably. So I don't need to worry too much about running out of this stuff. I might need a lot for my build, but I'm fairly confident that it won't be anywhere near enough to, to make me run out on the shop. So, from here, we're going to head over to the shopping district. In fact, I need to sleep first. And we're in the pass, apparently. But I have just realised I've forgotten to show you my other little money-making scheme out here in Restarterville. Wicked runs the die shop, or I'd die for you. And she's only got a few of them. The main ones are in the shopping district. However, I provide a brown die, which has never sold anything. I get that from the cocoa farm over in my basement of the castle. So what we're going to do, we're going to fly over to the... Lighthouse. What on earth was that? That was bizarre. Um, and we're going to head down into the basement. Where we can uh, jump through this portal. Now, this one, this rule here, there is a reason for that. And that reason is me. A while back, I thought I wanted some rabbits for my build for the shop. Uh, which you'll see why in a minute. So I brought them along and I dropped down into the portal. Now the old portal was not this custom end portal design. It was a drop down into some water where you triggered tripwires, which would trigger a command block, which would teleport the nearest player. Dropping a rabbit into it meant it teleported me out to the shopping district. And when I ported back here, it would immediately pick me as the nearest player and teleport me to the shopping district. Basically making a 200 block radius around this lighthouse a no-go zone because you would immediately get ported back to the shopping district. But they fixed it. It was fine. They put this sign up. And then I think it was just today they changed up this portal. So let's hop through to the shopping district. Oh, wait, no. This is the new Farland system. So we need to go up. Oh, and they've got the map that they built down there as well. And we're going to go to the shopping district. And here we are. This TARDIS is a quick transport to the Restarterville. And here is where we get the three maps that they made. And if we just fly up, we'll get a good view of the rest of the shopping district. So you've got a little uh, prismarine shop, a gambling zone. Here is the totem shop. Down here, we have the Thunder Shrine. Uh, there were some issues with how much it was raining on the server. The multiplayer sleep seemed to be messing with it. So we created the Thunder Shrine so we could play 
pay, pay three diamonds to trigger a thunderstorm. And you've got the really big eye shop, which I think is a really beautiful little build. Uh, Iron Golem, Tridents, the Wither Shop is also very well done. And the Blaze Shop is incredible. I really, really love this shop. It's absolutely phenomenal. And if we come up here, we have, oh, it's a sign, my Wool Emporium. So I made this tent and the rabbits I used as the guy ropes for it. There were some down here, but they keep dying. I'm not entirely sure why. It might have something to do with this pillar. I don't really know. There did also used to be some sheep that lived in here, but they're dead as well. I'm not sure what happened there. So yeah, here's where I sell my wool. And there's not a huge amount of profit from it. To fix that so we can't see the light through there. Um, I don't sell all that much, but occasionally I'll get someone come in and make a massive purchase, which is quite useful. Oh, there's a diamond. Just one. Nothing special. Yeah. So we'll put that diamond away. And what we will do is we'll check out the other service I provide from this shop. So down here, I have this little book. The Custom Banner Delivery Service. So basically people can submit a book to me with a request for a custom design to be put on a banner and how much they want. The more they order, the, more, the cheaper it becomes. And then I will go and design it, get them to approve it, and then deliver the full amount. So, let's see if we've had any orders. And we've had two. So we've already had one, which was from Wicked. And we've got these two here. So, let's have a quick look at what these are. Titanic letters. Uh, putting out the word Titanic. Four sets of them. One full letter on each banner. Yeah. White letters on a black background. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. All 10 diamond blocks is definitely fair, Dalin. I do appreciate that. And it is paint splatter. Uh, one design and four stacks. Neon. Uh, oh, sorry. Black with neon paint splatters. Uh, Fave colors. Black, blue cyan, magenta, purple, lime, green. Black banner with some neon colored swirls. Okay. Maybe a skull and crossbones. I can definitely do them. So, we're going to do that now, actually. We start with magenta. Then, we add a little bit of cyan. And we add a little bit of lime. Then, we add a little bit of black. So, we need this to start with. This to follow on. And last but not least... A magenta skull and crossbones. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks really good. We'll just have to see what Rai thinks of it when I show it to her. Now I think it's time I move on to doing Dalinar's letters. Ta-da! The Titanic letters. I think they've come out pretty nicely, so we're going to go and deliver them. First of all, I think we're going to go to the city and give Dalinar his Titanic banners. And then we're going to go and deliver Rise. So, this is the city. It is incredible. And looking at this map below us, I think you can see the sort of scale that we're talking about for the Titanic. Above us up there is the uh, plane. The word just left my head. And if we go this way, we get the Titanic. Apparently, this build is a one-to-one... -one scale replica it's absolutely massive and it's not loading in so you just missed it oh my god and here we go okay here are your banners and i've got the rest of them on me here 
pay? How much was I going to pay uh, you again? Uh, let me just check the book. I've got that on me as well. Uh, you um, said I don't ten, remember if you had a price. You said 10 diamond blocks. I want to put them on the yeah. side right here. I wanted to do this for a while. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Already. One second. Awesome. Here you go. Uh, that's 11. Yep, I gave you a tip. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I definitely, no definitely want to see these in place at some point. So I forgot to hit record until just now, showing Rai her banner. Uh, we're not in voice chat. She can do that, unfortunately. But seeing her skin with the hair, normally there's a helmet covering that, but definitely the colours match. And I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out, to be honest. And yeah, she likes it. So I'm happy with how it's uh, all turned out. And the fact that she's happy is wonderful. So thank you, Rai, for letting me do this. I had a lot of fun doing it. Now that we've done a bit of shopping, sent out our uh, custom orders, let's get on to the next part of my base that I really want to get working on. And that is farms downstairs. So if we head on down, I'm going to use the space inside the mountain to do that. And I've been thinking about what I want up here. I'm going to have uh, a melon and a pumpkin farm. I want to get a bee farm. I want to get uh, a small bamboo farm going, a sugar cane farm. Oh, uh, a chicken farm. So cook chicken and feathers from that. A small cactus farm as well. Um, but anyway, it's all going to feed into here. Which I might change up a little bit. Well, I've marked out where I want all the farms to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop around and have a look at that. What I started off doing is figuring out all the farms I actually wanted. First of all, I wanted to have a super smelter and you know I needed a chest that goes in, chest that comes out, and then a place for the fuel to go in. These will probably be higher up in the real one I make, or they all have to be, but for now they're just going to be sort of this level. And I've figured out roughly where I want all the chests to go. I'm going to have at least three chests here and a sorter system here so if we go down this side i did actually do a lot of digging eventually so in the red we've got the super smelter in the purple we've got the cactus which is going to go a lot higher but this is just roughly where i marked it out because this is before i dug out further lime we're going to make sugar cane and i think i dug out enough there to be maybe two layers along here and then it also curls around this way as well in the brown we're going to have mushrooms and in the yellow is going to be the bees and one side will do honey the other side will be honeycomb and i've left a lot of space up the top to have a system of getting the honey uh so the bottles and the shears in uh more sugarcane as i think i'm gonna want a lot of sugarcane and over here We've got a little bit more cactus. One thing about this place is I've been racing through my ender bells. Jump up here and jump down to the other side. So we've got a little bit more sugar cane, although I may change that to bamboo, to be honest, because I don't have much in the way of bamboo. This is going to be kelp in here with the green wool. And whatever I change this to, if I do make it bamboo, that will actually extend out on top of the kelp farm. Down there we have chickens, so that'll get us as feathers as well. Melons and pumpkins, which is going to go quite high and will be along here. I'm going to do sort of a bunch of layers. So we've planned out where we're going to put a bunch of our farms. Now, I don't expect to get all of them done today, but I think today will be a really good time to try and get a couple of ones I think are more important up and running. Let's jump to it, and I think today we're going to do this with a time lapse.
three farms done. So if we go and take a quick look, what I managed to get done is the melon and pumpkin farm, the chicken farm, and part of the sugarcane farm. So we're already getting chicken and feathers, so that's going to be quite useful. And we're getting melons and pumpkins. In fact, we're getting quite a lot already, but I don't mind missing out a few at the moment. I'm mostly focused on getting the farm sorted, then I will sort out the storage system and connecting it all together and then if we hop over to the other side again we're going to get to the sugarcane farm and there's two layers and they are both collecting a decent amount of sugarcane i did need to tear down the bottom layer after building it which you would have seen in the time lapse i realized i was one short for the top layer to fit in um along this stretch so i think next episode i might look at sorting out the villagers and getting them up there so i can start trading with them so that all done and dusted i think it's time to end this episode thank you so much for watching and i shall see you uh, in the next one